All oh, right, I am extremely happy with this hand. I would not like them all again. That's exactly what we want to do. Cast a two drop into a three drop. Wow, the five color deck plays a basic land on turn one. Ooh, do a pit fight. Pit fight plus give is pretty sweet. Kind of wish this didn't know him. So if he plays a creature here, I think I'm just going to slam a give. But if he doesn't, I'm slamming Stealer. Okay. He didn't play a creature. So we are just slamming Stealer Secrets. Uh, we still play Stealer because he has higher upside if he hits. Playing around F6. So we can F6 and attack. Yeah, so this is just great, like, this just shows you how it's just powerful to be able to actually cast your spells on turns 2, 3, and 4. I mean, he does have all his colors now. Prism is probably one of his best cards in his deck. Wow, my mouse is freaking out. Okay, so we do kind of a good one. I mean, I don't think it's good in his deck by any means, but all right. So if I slam this, give on the crossword courier, I can. Yeah, no, I'm just slamming on the stealer. No reason not to. I don't think I need to drill, draw any cards this game to to win this game. And that's why I left the green up. See, now I wish I didn't side out my fight card, whatever that name was. But it just happens to have been perfect in this scenario. I mean, Birth of Strength can still get him. And I have a pit fight for next turn on anything he plays. Like, he's going to have to cast some great spells to get out of this, because we had him in a good spot. Oh. Since he has the present, Guild Gates are even worse for him. Is it coming to play trap? Nice horn turtle, bro. Okay, I don't even want to play with that. Okay, so I think we're just smashing our line line down. We don't want to fight this because that's just a waste of time. So this is either going to lob ax him or kill a creature. I'm paying five mana to basically do that.
And I still don't want to attack with the courier because I don't want to just give away a free card. Oh, wow. Okay, lag. That kind of sucks. I clicked the phantom and it didn't attack. That kind of sucks. At least next turn we're like... Oh, what am I thinking? He doesn't have haste. Wow, I'm just stupid. Okay, never mind. I... yeah, wow. Then I guess we're fine. I think we just... we still want to slam him. To be more mana efficient. Look at that. Look at his mana base. Look at this. He better have like five of these in his deck. Alright, that's a start for him. Good thing I got this burst of strength. So, I'm going to make a pretty aggressive play, but this play is going to get him down to one, and I'll have four, he'll have to wrath, that I think it's worth it. I'm going to burst her strength, well I'm going to pit fight against this, and then I'm going to burst her strength, my stealer secrets. Now, I am probably casting this Tower Drake second main phase because my Stealer of Secrets is going to be out. I shouldn't have played my land first in case I drew something. There we go. Because uh, I only have one attacker, so I want a second creature that can swing for Leafa. And we're drawing a card too. Oh, there he is. He is in my deck. We have two lethal creatures out. I mean, he can live next turn, but... What is this? Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, so I have to discard. Um, so part of me wants to just discard the Tower Drake, but another part of me wants to just discard this, so then the next turn I can smash a Biromancer, and if I draw a land, a Tower Drake. So I'll have three lethal creatures, and my Tower Drake will be a 4-3 flyer. Plus, I think, with him at 1, it doesn't really matter about power and toughness. Evasion is more important, so I am going to discard this Leyline Phantom. And if we draw a removal spell, we win, too. Alright, we didn't. But, I mean, that play was good because it made it so anything we top deck was good. A spell or a land. Uh, so, yeah, we just... Play this. We 
Yeah, my mouse is being crazy. And we F6. So a 4 3 flyer, a 2 4, and any creature we draw is insane. I mean, these five color decks, though, do play insane spells. Like, he could play anything that could mess with us. He already has one blocker. He only needs, like, a creature plus a removal spell or two removal spells. But with three cards in hand, I mean, I don't think we're losing this game. And this is all because we had a turn two and turn three play, really. Uh, I really don't know. We possibly play one of each of these and cut something else. Yeah, I think I just want Burst of Strength to make sure I hit my... I mean, Burst of Strength is better in a matchup where I need to just kill him fast. If it was more of a resource management uh, matchup, then I'd probably play Mutant Spray. I think that's the conclusion I've come to. This becomes like a, a late game path to exile or solid removal spell, but like this, I just want to make sure my creatures are getting through. 